is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grainville Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. Cheers, guys. And here we are for uh, another 2015 SJ Pour Challenge Midwest Beer Review. And this one is 9E60567C8. Six, six, and this is High Rise Espresso Porter. This is a big dark monster featuring an obscene amount of locally roasted espresso. Um, it is by far one of the most flavorful espressos Chicago has to offer. Um, Bow Trust Hoist Espresso has notes of dark baker's cocoa, walnut caramel. Uh, this beer packs a huge aroma, roasty edge, but with malty smoothness and uh, oak silkiness to balance it out um, for an easy drink. Easy drinking beer at 9.2%. Uh, it's classified as an American Porter. <clears throat> Malts, we have... Mirasada or Vienna, Caramel 120, a Toasted Flaked Oats, uh, Chocolate Malt, Black Patent Malt, and Kiln Coffee Malt. Uh, hops were Warrior, Northern Brewer, Cascade, Yeast was USO5, Special Ingredients, 10 ounces of Locally Roasted Bow Truss Hoist Espresso, 4 ounces of Ground in the Kettle at Knockout, and 6 ounces Whole Beans and Keg while Carving. Hell yeah! So, uh, my influence was a uh, beer that uh, he felt the captured Chicago winters. Living in Chicago, you quickly learn that uh, during winter you need coffee to survive. It becomes essential to you uh, making trudge through the uh, two feet of snow and negative 20 degree Fahrenheit temperatures and the 40 mile an hour winds. I'm from Wisconsin, baby. I know all about that. Except for I'm not in the windy city, but it still gets windy. Um, also, when you finally reach your destination, there's no better feeling than peeling off your three to five layers and <laughs> basically curl, curling up to a piping hot coffee, good coffee. So save the Starbucks, Dunkin' Caribou for the tourists and reach for your local artisan fresh roast coffee. Now there's a pitch, huh? All right. So here we go. This is a nice dark black can't see through it um, it's got brown hue nice dark brown hue to it the uh, the head was about half finger um, kind of a maybe darker khaki but um, it's also 9% beer so it uh, it fell down just a little bit you can see it um, Carbonation looked uh, decent on this one. Um, like I said, there's a nice brown hue to it, and uh, you know, clarity looked decent. So, the aroma, the aroma on this guy, the aroma you get like rich kind of chocolate. You get coffee. You get tons and tons and tons of coffee. Um, but um, yeah, you get um, it might. Uh, you might get a little bit of the um, alcohol, but I mean it's it's not like overwhelming or nothing, as, especially as it's getting warmed up here. But um, the aroma, yeah, you get lots of uh, lots of the coffee, lots of like a kind of a rich dark chocolate um, aroma. Maybe I think I'm getting like a slight like citrus, which I might be confusing for sweetness. Um, cause I wanted to say I can get in a sweetness to it, but I don't think it's a sweetness. I think it's kind of a, a slight citrus that's coming through on that. But I mean, the aroma, the aroma is pretty damn nice. So, and I like my coffee beer, so I love smelling coffee. Yeah. All right. So cheers.
So your first big drink, you get you get the coffee, you get all that dark roast, you get the the nice richness. Um, there's a bitterness in there that kind of just hangs through the entire drink. Um, I mean, you get, uh, I mean, you get tons of coffee. I mean, it's like layers of coffee. Um, there might be a slight coffee astringency in there too. Um, the there's uh, in the background, like way in the back, you get some of that citrus, like almost a citrusy flavor, and it might be from the hops. Um, I might even be getting a little bit of a, a yeast characteristic. I know it's USO5, but there's a slight like yeasty something in the background. Yeah, the the the. I mean, it's it's dominant for your coffee. It's. I mean, I love coffee beers, so um, you get dominant coffee. You get a strong, like rich, dark roast in it. Um, there's a little bit of a citrus in it that. You know, like I said in the, the, the nose, it almost, you know, that citrus almost kind of seems to bring a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but but then there's like this bitterness and kind of um, um, kind of a slight astringency that kind of just sticks with you for a while. Um, I know doing coffee, I know doing coffee beers, um, especially if you're putting coffee in the uh, the boil, you're going to get some some astringency. Yeah, and a cold Chicago night, man, this definitely warm you up. So, um, so overall, um, it's a nice looking beer. Uh, the aromas off of it, yeah, I mean, you get you get hit with all the aromas. Um, just this, I mean, from the aromas to the flavor, it's it's dark, it's rich, it's roasty, it's coffee. Um, there's a little bit of citrus in there. Um, so this is. 96-056-7C8, uh, and this is a high-rise espresso porter, baby. Whew. As it warms up, man, it just, yeah. So, cheers. Until the next one, we'll, we'll see you soon.